via satellite. It's the Casablanca Satellite News. From Rockwell International, home of the Space Shuttle in Southern California, with our team of Casablanca news reporters from around the world. And Ed Hart, Burton Burton, Max Van Dordrich, and here at the Casablanca news desk is Deborah Manning. Good evening and welcome to Casablanca Fan Company's Look at the Future. As you saw by the invitations to this event, our primary objective is to introduce a startling new product from Casablanca, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Casablanca Fan Company is known throughout the industry as a keen competitor, an aggressive innovator, and a company that presents itself and its products in a first-class manner. A first in the consumer product field tonight, we look forward to spreading the Casablanca story through this product introduction via satellite. Tonight we have with us three important members of the Casablanca team. On my right is Ed Hart, Vice President in Charge of Marketing. Ed? Thank you, Debbie. And thanks to all of you for being with us this evening for the introduction of what we feel is an exciting new product that's going to change the way the lighting and ceiling fan industry does business. You're part of a first ever direct satellite introduction of a new consumer product. It may seem a bit grandiose, but I can assure you that it's the most cost-effective way to reach such a large number of people at one time. As a matter of fact, I'm certain you'll see a lot of other companies follow our lead in the years ahead. We have a map pinpointing the 36 locations in which our broadcast is being received this evening. In addition to Casablanca's dealers and their sales personnel, we've also invited various members of the media and key vendors who are participating in this new product program. So don't be surprised if you don't recognize all the faces in the room. And by the way, if you don't recognize your Casablanca sales rep, it may be that I've got a problem. Please call me tomorrow morning on our toll-free line. That's 1-800-C-A-N-A-R-E-P. That's 1-800-CANAREP. This broadcast is made possible by a new synchronous communication satellite known simply as F1R. Parked in orbit 22,000 miles above the equator, the F1R is receiving our transmission from Los Angeles and is rebroadcasting it directly to the hotel at which you are meeting. Just 10 years ago, this kind of direct broadcast was not even possible. But tonight, you'll probably go home without even giving the satellite a second thought. Like all Americans, you accept technology change quickly and readily. And this is an important point to make as we discuss the future of ceiling fans. Well, I'm sure you notice we've got a space shuttle behind us tonight. Actually, it's a full-scale mock-up here at Rockwell International, and it's not going to fly. It may seem like a giant leap from the sh space shuttle to ceiling fans, and it is. But, I, but in understanding the impact of technology on American business, it is the perfect setting. But before we get into that subject, we want to introduce the two men who are the Casablanca Fan Company. The first is Max Van Dordrick, our president. Most of you only know Max by a name or a voice on the telephone, so this evening, here's your chance to meet the man behind the voice. Good evening, Max. Max? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at a uh, new product, and I'd like to share it with uh, our viewers. Today, after some four years of trial and error, not to mention hundreds of thousands of dollars, we have reached yet another milestone in the history of our company. And I'm darn proud to be part of it. As most of you know, the past year has been somewhat of a down year in the ceiling fan industry. But this was the result of a lackluster economy, product dumping, and both loads of foreign knockoffs. Recently, certain American fan manufacturers announced moving a major portion of their fan operation to Taiwan or selling their entire fan business. How did Casablanca do? Somewhat less than anticipated, but thanks to you, <coughs> we had another great year and enjoy an excellent financial condition. Despite continued pressure from low cost imports and other competitive brands, your support has put us clearly in the forefront of our industry and we intend to stay there. We will not betray your trust. This broadcast is our way of showing our investment and commitment to your and our future. Our continued corporate mission and goals are to provide, one, quality, two, new and improved products, three, excellent service, and last but not least, loyalty to our valued customer. Your strong support and loyalty and the dedication of our employees made this presentation possible. Debbie? 
Well, Max will be back later in the show. Also, now we'd like you to get reacquainted with Mr. Casablanca, Bon Vivant, Railroad Baron, World Traveler, TV and film personality, Pasadena Rose Parade star, and company mailboy, our chairman and founder, Burton A. Burton. Thank you, Debbie. The past 10 years have passed so quickly, it's just amazing how far we've come. We all know the hard work, incredible dedication, and intense commitment and plain old guts and courage that went into making Casablanca the number one ceiling fan in the country today. We have a history of unusual and creative promotions, and we suspect you'll add tonight to that list. The Casablanca Satellite News Network will help continue our leadership in the industry as an innovator in product promotion. We're looking forward to the show and hope you enjoy it. We have lots of great surprises for you, Deborah. Thank you very much, gentlemen. In just a few minutes, Burton, Ed, and Max will all be here to answer your questions as they come up. Incidentally, a sales representative at each location will help you with those questions. And now we'll be right back after word from our sponsor. Most ceiling fans circulate air efficiently, but there the similarities end. And the beauty of fans from Casablanca Fan Company begins. Each is the product of meticulous craftsmanship made with superior materials, lavished with intricate detail, or simple and unadorned. So if real beauty makes a difference to you, remember Casablanca Fan Company for the world's most beautiful fans. You know, a dame will let you down every time, but a Casablanca fan will always hang true. Casablanca fans, nothing but the best, sweetheart. So what do space shuttles and technology have to do with ceiling fans? We promised Ed Hart would have some... Yes? Ah, oh, we have a special flash from Fred C. Dobbs, our consumer affairs reporter, who was stationed just outside the big old fan company offices in the south. Fred. Deborah, I'm speaking to you from the big old fan company deep in the south, which has recently closed down its production line and left town. I'm trying to interview a representative of the company. Here comes someone now. Uh, sir, I'm uh, from Casablanca, Casablanca Satellite uh, News. No, no, I, I don't know. Casablanca, don't, don't mention that name to me. Uh, Casablanca. Oh, oh, oh. We seem to be having difficulty finding a spokesman to comment on the fate of the big old fan company. This is Fred C. Dobbs reporting live from the big old fan company for Casablanca Satellite News. Thank you very much for that report, Fred. Indeed, we're proud of the work of our consumer reporter. Nobody puts anything over on our Fred C. Dobbs. Now, back to the question of technology and ceiling fans. Here to shed some light on that topic is Ed Hart. Thank you, Debbie. Well, Debbie, we chose Rockwell as a backdrop to this evening's broadcast because Rockwell epitomizes that combination of enterprise, technology, and boldness that makes up the modern American spirit. In addition to aircraft such as the Mustang, the Sabre, and the X-15 rocket plane, Rockwell was also a prime contractor on the Apollo program. And earlier, we had a chance to look at a historic piece of hardware from that program. Behind me is the Apollo 14 command module, which back in February of 1971 carried three more Americans to a lunar landing. Alan Shepard was the mission commander, and I'm sure many of you remember watching those ghostly scenes of two Americans walking on the moon. That was an exciting time in the history of our nation. In fact, the whole Apollo program was an incredible achievement. One of the most interesting aspects of the Apollo program was that it was a program based on not developing new technologies. That may come as a surprise, but we were in a race to be first, and there was no time to bet that a range of new technologies could be developed in time to let the program meet its schedules. As a result, the entire program was built around existing technologies and expendable systems. So, each time an Apollo left the Earth, several hundred million dollars worth of complex rocket boosters would be lost forever. In fact, the 10-foot high command module is all that's left of a 365-foot Saturn V rocket that pushed it to the moon. Actually, many new technologies did develop during the Apollo program. One of the most significant ones was the integrated circuit, a way to make electronic circuits more compact, more reliable, more efficient, and lower in cost. It was the start of the microelectronic revolution that has swept us all into the computer age. But to show you how fast technology moves, consider the flight computer used by this Apollo 14 command module. At the time, it was the most sophisticated computer for its size ever built. The flight computer inside this command module 
today is totally obsolete. In fact, this $100 calculator is just as powerful as the computer that was used to guide Apollo to the moon. But even as the last Apollo splashed down in the Pacific, America had set its sights on a new goal. Would it be possible to design a spacecraft using all the latest technologies that could fly into space like a rocket but return like an airplane to be used again and again? No one knew exactly how to do it then. But with the success of the Apollo program, we believed we could do just about anything. So the space shuttle program was born, betting on the come, so to speak. And within a few short years, American industry had produced all the breakthroughs needed to make the shuttle a reality. And of course, the shuttle continues to advance technology every time it flies. Behind us is the first full-size space shuttle mock-up. And I've got to tell you, you just can't appreciate how big this thing is until you've seen it firsthand. It just doesn't seem possible that anything this big could ever fly. But it does, and it's the most complex machine ever produced by man. Someday, I suppose, the shuttle will also be obsolete. But at the moment, it uses the very latest technology in almost every area of science, from electronics to ceramics to metals to fabrics. So why is Casablanca here? Obviously, we're not about to announce that Casablanca is joining the space race. Although, with Burton around, you never know. No, we simply want to use the space program, and the shuttle in particular, to dramatize how fast technology is moving today. In fact, it's probably moving faster than most of us would like to see. But the competitive nature of world business almost guarantees that the pace of technology will quicken rather than slow. The most dramatic example is, of course, in the field of microelectronics. American business managers got their first look at how these little silicon wonders could change an industry when the microcomputer completely replaced the mechanical calculator in a period of just 18 months. 80 and 100 year old companies were suddenly hopelessly lost in this new technology and many disappeared forever. Cash registers were next, then appliances and watches, why even the 300 year old Swiss watch industry almost disappeared. Today the microprocessor continues to change every industry it touches. From toys to automobiles to cameras to fishing reels and even singing greeting cards. The most important message here is that this new American technology is creating new businesses every day while putting old ones out of business. And that's part of what tonight's broadcast is all about. We want to assure you that Casablanca will continue to be an innovator in everything it does. We have the skills, the financial strength, and the technology to maintain our leadership position. And we think that it will be very clear to everyone in just a few minutes when we show what the microcomputer is doing at Casablanca today. Debbie? Thanks, Ed. The history of Casablanca is a colorful one. For those not familiar with the growth of this company, this award-winning film captures the essence of the Casablanca spirit. Here at the Mustang Ranch, all of our customers are gentlemen. They appreciate quality and good service. That's why I put Casablanca fans in every room. We prefer the mirrored blades, naturally. That's Mr. Smith. He's one of our very best customers. Uh, well, we seem to have the uh, wrong piece of film there. <laughs> Are we ready now? Okay. Roll it, Ralph. McKinley was president. That's over 80 years ago, and it still works perfectly. The craftsmanship is remarkable. In every piece, you can see the pride. I'm Burton A. Burton, president of the Casablanca Fan Company. I have an engineering background, so I suppose it's that, plus my love for things well made, that caused me to collect old machines. I've roamed the world in search of them. In fact, that's how I got in the fan business. Makes a good story, anyhow. It happened in Casablanca, years ago. I just stopped in this little out of the way place for a gin and tonic. When I saw this marvelous ceiling fan, 
Can I help you, pal? I was admiring your fans. I'm a fan hunter. Of all the gin joints and all the towns and all the countries of this world, and you had to pick mine. You validate. I should take down the sign. Rick, these fans are beautiful. You don't realize what you've got here. They ain't for sale. I don't want to buy them. I want to manufacture them. Why, kid? They're elegant. They're quiet. And you think you can make a buck? Exactly. Well, we understand each other. Sit down. Maybe you could, and maybe you couldn't. Fans not like a dame. I never met a dame that didn't understand a slap in the face. But with a fan, it's a relationship. It takes a great deal of attention to detail to make a great fan. A fan is a precision piece of equipment. You can't just slap one together. It takes the kind of care and loving attention you might give a first-class dame. Or even a racehorse. I couldn't believe it. Here was the greatest fan expert in the world sharing his secrets with me. That was the luckiest gin and tonic I ever had. Well, I took his advice. I did everything he said. And he was right. The results are down there. Come on in. I'll show you what I mean. Good morning, Casablanca. Rick said, good people come first. I remember he told me... Sure, kid. A good fan worker's like a piano player. It ain't enough just moving fingers. You gotta have heart behind every move. And you don't buy your materials at the five and dime, either. Everything's gotta be first class. Or else you build a fan that breaks down some night in some hot hotel room in Pasadena. And you've got that on your conscience the rest of your life. And when it comes to equipment, pal, you get the very latest. And don't forget the slide rule, boys. Oh, I know, sometimes they talk funny and draw strange stuff on paper, but they can improve things, and you need them. When you got your fan made, pal, then go. Cover the territory. got any friends, make them dealers. Everybody in America is going to want one of those fans sooner or later. You see, pal, the fan we're talking about has a reversible motor. It goes both ways, so uniform air temperature can be maintained throughout the entire joint without heat buildup at the ceiling. Variable speed, too. Helps improve air conditioning, heating, too. And I'll tell you something else. One thing you learn about operating a gin joint in the Sahara Desert is to conserve electricity. These fans use about as much juice as a 100-watt light bulb. Make them smart-looking, working off belts, with lights, without lights. Believe me, pal, there's no end to it. And that's it. Today, Casablanca is one of the leading U.S. manufacturers of ceiling fans. And what about Rick? That's another story. Now, that's how you do it, pal. Good night, Rick. Good night, Sam. Now, go make yourself a fortune. What about you, Rick? Well, listen, I ain't very good at making noble speeches, but someday you'll come to understand that what happens to three little people doesn't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. What matters is making people comfortable by efficient use of energy, cooling them in the summer and warming them in the winter. Now, if you don't believe in that, sweetheart, you don't believe in anything. 
I understand. I think I'll call it the Casablanca Fan Company. Hey, I like that, pal. The Casablanca Fan Company in America. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Efficient use of energy. If you don't believe in that, sweetheart, then you don't believe in anything. Britain, it's amazing you don't look a single day older. Now listen, I understand that you were recently the subject of a Hollywood documentary filmed while you were making a television commercial? Mm -hmm. Yes, and strangely, we do have a copy available. a little bit and lift that's correct so i'll show you where the stop position okay is. Let, let me let me read you the copy so you've got exactly what you what you're going to do here's, right. here's how much time you have on the zoom all right with five loyal employees so just as he starts it says loyal employees you're going to see full frame so i don't have to fuss with the yeah. beginning of all, right, all right i just tuck in a little bit when he says five i start to come back loyal all employees right, all right, all right. together we watch casablanca grow some of those grow old, into and that's when i got to get my timing all right is this what you're going to wear? This you're, is what I always wear. All right, that's I mean, what, how your public's going to see you. I mean, that's it. They don't expect different. Right like this. If each one of you ladies will take your right elbow and go like this, that'll be the space. That's right your other right. There you go. <laughs> Put your right elbow out. That's the distance we want between each one of you. There you go. Right elbow. Right elbow. Right elbow. Right elbow. Right elbow. Come on. Come on. Come on, smile, be happy. You're going to be on television. Is this really 300 people back there? <laughs> Can you wait for this to be on the tube? <laughs> what a lineup. I'll take it. <laughs> Mr. Burton is going to speak up here for 30 seconds. Johnson Holmstrom Production, Casablanca, thank you, commercial, take one. We want to thank you for making cost help. <laughs> we want to... Cut it, cut it. Thank you, commercial. Take 18. In 1973, I started the Casablanca Fan Company with five loyal employees. Today, oh, Jesus. Take 26. We want to thank you for helping make the Casablanca dream come true. I blew it. Take 34. We want to thank you for making helping make Casablanca, oh, Jesus, why can't I get that? What is there? Because helping Casablanca we want to thank make. you for helping Casablanca. That's what you're thanking. Yeah. I got it, you know, I really I know, do. You tell me that, and then well, I just, go back there. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Read that line, just yeah. read it back We back. want to thank you for helping Casablanca make the American dream come true. When we get to the end, we want to thank you. Talk to the camera way yeah. up there, all right? Okay. Burton, before we do the next take, the sales film that we produced for you won an award at the New York Film Festival. Now here's Johnson Holmstrom's director of development to give it to you.
pockets for you. <laughs> this is the bronze thing. Yeah, you understand it? You win a bronze medal with us and you remember it. One good take, all the way through. Here we go. Take 55. Roll them. I'm Burton A. Burton. In 1973, I started the Casablanca Fan Company with five loyal employees. Together, we watched Casablanca grow into a multi-million dollar company with over 300 employees and a thousand dealers nationwide. We want to thank you for helping Casablanca make the American dream come true. Thank you, America! Welcome back to the Casablanca Satellite News Special. Last week, we taped some comments of ceiling fan customers at a local store. We talked to a number of people about some of the problems they have had with fans, problems you all may be familiar with. I don't like him to reach up to adjust the speed while those blades are turning. The only way I can control my fan was to put in a wall control. Now it's too noisy. When I was a kid, I remember we had pull chain toilets. Now they still have pull chain fans. Boy, let me tell you, in order to install my fan control in my dining room, I almost had to rewire the whole house. Boy, was my wife teed off. I bought one of those remote control fans with those handheld things. I can never find it. The fan's still on full speed. But I'm always standing on the dining room table fussing with something. I wanted this fan as a light fixture in the living room, but I'm not crazy about having this string hanging down, so I cut it off. My poor husband was trying to turn on the lights the other night and stuck his fingers into the blades while trying to find the pull chain. Well, Ed, it's about time we started talking about Casablanca's answer to some of those very important problems that fan customers and salesmen have been frustrated with ever since ceiling fans were first marketed. Thank you, Deborah. Yes, it's time to get down to business. We've been talking about technology change tonight, but it's an interesting point to note that the first consumer product of the electric age, the light bulb, remains virtually unchanged after more than 100 years. I'm not sure why that's the case. Maybe we ought to do something about it. But the second product of the electrical age, the ceiling fan, went without any major changes for over 90 years. But that's where Casablanca came in. Within a few short years, Casablanca racked up an impressive array of important innovations for ceiling fans. Things like the reversible motor, electronic variable speed control, lightweight die-cast housings, the silent flex flywheel, the slumber quiet drive system, and of course, the hang true mounting system. Well, with that, the modern ceiling fan was born and Casablanca quickly became the premier name in the business. But since about 1978, customers have been telling us about the need for more convenient operation of their Casablanca fan. Pull chains, knobs, and switches all work well, but as you've just heard, they can hardly be called convenient. So, about four years ago, Casablanca made a cost-effective remote control system part of its long-range marketing and product strategy. A tough set of product requirements was laid down. There had to be silent motor operation. Independent fan and light operation was a requirement. Remote airflow reversing. Convenient wall-mounted control location with a permanent look. And there could be no household wiring changes involved. Operation had to be simple. It had to be consumer installable. And of course, it had to be low cost and highly reliable. That really is a tough assignment. And in the years that followed, six totally different systems were prototyped and evaluated against those requirements. One way or the other, all six systems failed to measure up. But last year, Casablanca's engineers made a breakthrough in information transmission techniques. This has led to the development of the IntelliTouch Automatic Control System. The IntelliTouch system meets all of our requirements, and we're ready to tell you all about it. Here's our demonstration unit. As you can see, it looks just like a conventional Casablanca fan. But note, there are no controls on the switch housing. Control of this fan is done completely from this wall control, which we call a W11. The W11 mounts in the wall, just like a light dimmer, replacing a conventional light switch. There are also three-way versions available. The fan can then be operated from either control. The fan installs on two wires, just like an ordinary light fixture. Absolutely no household wiring changes are needed. Inside the fan is a powerful microcomputer, which accepts commands from the wall control, then memorizes them to control the fan and lights. The W11 wall control has three switches, a power switch, a fan switch, and a light switch. The power switch controls all power to the fan and light combination. When it's turned on, the lights come on the first time, every time. The light then can be operated independently from the light switch, on and off. 
I can even dim the lights with this switch by pushing and holding the switch. And you can see the lights going through an automatic program to increase their intensity to full intensity. Now let me do that again and stop it part way. Perhaps this light level is what you prefer in your home. Now it's memorized by the microprocessor within the fan. I can now turn the light on and off at this memorized level. The fan works in the same fashion. Push and hold, and the fan begins to accelerate. Note that the fan quickly comes up to speed through what we call an instant start feature. And I'm sure that you also heard the small audio chime which announces each speed. The IntelliTouch series has six speeds. Operation is extremely quiet. We call it slumber quiet. Again, you can set the fan at whatever speed you like, release the button, and the speed will be maintained automatically. The fan can then be turned off, and there's a two-tone descending chime to announce off and back on at the same speed. Let me take it up to full speed now and show you how the fan is reversed. By operating both the light and fan switch simultaneously, the fan goes through an automatic reversal sequence, an extremely smooth sequence, as I'm sure you've noticed. Those are the basic functions of the Casablanca IntelliTouch fan. Again, I can turn off all power with the wall switch. Programmed within the IntelliTouch microprocessor are two special programs for the homeowner. The first is what we call the LightMinder program, and this can be engaged by turning the power off and then back on and engaging the switches in the sequence fan, fan, light, light. A special audio chime sequence announces that the program has been entered. Now the controls of the IntelliTouch work normally fan control, and light control. But now, each time the lights are turned on, the timer within the microprocessor will automatically shut the lights off after two hours. If anyone's ever been plagued by lights left on in bedrooms or even the living room of the home, this will automatically cure the problem. The second homeowner program within the IntelliTouch is the HomeSafe program. Police and security officials constantly advise that lights should be left on in the home to give the appearance of the home being lived in. With the IntelliTouch series fan, that happens automatically. Simply by engaging the switches in the sequence, light, fan, light, fan, your IntelliTouch fan is now pre-programmed to make the home appear lived in. The lights will now cycle in a pseudo-random pattern designed to turn the lights on for an hour, turn them off for a half hour, on for two hours, off for one hour, continuously for as long as you're away from home, for an evening, for a vacation. So there you have it, the IntelliTouch series from Casablanca. We think it's the most dramatic product ever offered to the lighting and fan industry. The IntelliTouch will be introduced this fall in both Gallery Edition Panama 5 models and two new Gallery Edition Zephyr models like this one. Quantities will be extremely limited in, as the IntelliTouch production begins. But now, let me quickly review all the features of the IntelliTouch system. These include complete remote operation from a convenient wall location, a permanent installation look, and absolutely no rewiring required. It works on single and three-way circuits. And the wall control requires no power. There's no batteries. And there's no handheld control to aim or lose. There's no special coding. And there's no interference with other remote control systems in the home. No transmission range limitations. Silent six-speed motor operation. You'd expect that from Casablanca. And the selected speed is memorized when the fan is turned off. There's full range light dimming. The light intensity is memorized when the lights are turned off. And the lights operate at full 120 volts for brilliant lighting. By the way, all IntelliTouch series fans will come with high intensity 40 watt bulbs to really accentuate the crystal shades. There's a smooth torque controlled reversal and the airflow direction is memorized when the power is turned off. An audio chime announces all selected fan sequences. And of course, there's an instant start feature which quickly brings the fan up to speed. All power can be turned off at the wall. There are no pull chains, switches, or knobs on the fan. It uses standard Decora wall plates. Of course, there's the LightMinder program to automatically shut off lights to conserve energy. And of course, the HomeSafe Security Light Timer program that's built into every IntelliTouch fan. 
Now, there's one last thing I want to show you. Excuse me, Ed. We have a late-breaking item from Hong Kong. Humphrey Trevor Wellington, our Asian Bureau Chief, is on the scene with this report. Hump? Deborah, it appears as though okay. Casablanca's okay. announcement okay. of the new IntelliTouch okay. has sent massive shockwaves through fan okay. manufacturers okay. here in the Orient. Okay. Uh, sir, okay. uh, okay. can you give us your reaction to Casablanca's new IntelliTouch? Looky, looky. Asia fan, same, same, Casablanca, you see. Asia fan, same, same, Casablanca. Speed control. Speed control. Reverse. Right control. Same, same, Casablanca. Security right timer. Right timer. Thank you very much. And what do you call this new fan system? Touchy, touchy fan. This is Humphrey Trevor Wellington reporting for the Casablanca Satellite News in Hong Kong. Same, same, Casablanca. Oh, thank you, Humphrey. Now back to you, Ed. Touchy, touchy. Well, as I said, there is one more thing I'd like to show you, and I think you're going to be very interested in this. We've all heard about products that sell themselves, but I think we've got the first one that does. Built into every IntelliTouch series fans is what we call the automatic demonstration program. Watch this. I simply turn the power on and enter the sequence. Fan, light, fan, light, fan. The microcomputer will now operate the fan and light in a preset sequence designed to fully test the functions of the unit. The salesperson is then free to describe the action and features to the customer. First, the lights ramp up from low to full intensity. Point out the hand-cut leaded shades, high-intensity lighting, and light lifter fixture to the customer. Next, the fan starts to quickly accelerate to speed three. The customer will notice the audio tone, then point out the total silence of Casablanca's slumber-quiet motor control system. Next, the microprocessor dims the lights to make it easier to watch the demonstration. Now the fan begins to accelerate up to its top speed, giving a powerful blast of air. Of course, Casablanca invented the electronically reversible fan, so the IntelliTouch next goes through a reversing sequence. Watch how smoothly the reversal takes place. The fan continues to run at high speed for a few seconds while you describe the advantages of reversibility. The demonstration cycle is coming to an end now, and we want the fan to turn off completely. Of course, the blades would continue to rotate for several minutes, so the IntelliTouch microprocessor reverses the fan again and applies just enough power to almost bring the blades to a halt. And finally, the lights turn off. The demonstration mode will repeat itself continuously until the power is turned off. This is a great attention getter for your showroom, even at night. Just leave a few units running when you close. And you can even mount it on a sidewinder for a more dramatic effect. We also want the consumer to be able to use this mode. So we'll call it the automatic test mode and suggest that it be used immediately after installation to test the integrity of the installation. Obviously, we hope he'll also call his neighbor Floyd over to see it do its thing. Floyd is, of course, our next customer. The IntelliTouch is the first self-demonstrating product, but that's just icing on the cake for the salesperson. The real news is that microcomputer technology has added modern convenience, energy savings, security, and simplicity to a 100-year-old product, and just in time to meet the increasing demands of consumers who want better value. And value is what we have to offer. Because IntelliTouch eliminates the need for an electrician in most cases, the consumer can see a big savings on installation. And with the integration of so many features, there is no wall control or dimmer to buy. Add the security light timer and automatic light shutoff, and the savings to the consumer can be more than $80. And that doesn't include the cost of extra wiring, which can really be a bundle. So that's what the microcomputer is doing at Casablanca today. We're extremely proud that this breakthrough product was conceived, developed, and will be manufactured right here in the United States. And now the really good news. Initial production will carry a premium of only $12, complete with wall control. And by January of 1984, we plan to eliminate even that modest premium. Availability? Pilot production is underway now, but first shipments are planned for about one October. And quantities will be extremely limited as we carefully expand our production capability on the IntelliTouch series. We'll keep you posted on our schedule. In the meantime, keep selling today's Casablanca fans. They're still the world's finest. Debbie? IntelliTouch is a great step into the future for Casablanca. Now, Burton, I understand that research and development is continuing on additional new products. Is that right? 
This IntelliTouch is the incredible melding of high technology and everyday living. We trust it proves Casablanca's commitment to the future through creativity. We'd like to show you a few other ideas currently on the drawing board for future product lines. Invisofan. There when you need it. Gone when you don't. Amaze and delight your friends. New from Casablanca. Uh, better call Burton. The Aquamatic, coming soon from Casablanca. Putting those outdated pull chains to work. Cool and refreshing. Ask for model H20. <laughs> now we told you we had something to show you. And as promised, Burton, Ed, and Max are here to answer your questions. We have telephone hookups in all locations. We now ask you to relay your questions through the sales representative present. And now we'll be right back after word from our sponsor. Isn't it beautiful? It's a Casablanca. I think it's the best fan ever made. Good American craftsmanship and design. Quality engineering and materials. Easy to install, too. Even hangs on a slanted ceiling. That's because of Casablanca's hang true. One comes with every fan. Casablanca, the company that cares about quality. Isn't it beautiful? It's a Casablanca. We think it's the best fan ever made. It's quality throughout. Precision engineering, fine American craftsmanship. And easy to install. It even hangs on a slanted ceiling. That's because of Casablanca's hang true. One comes with every fan. Get a ceiling fan from Casablanca, the company that cares about quality. Don't monkey around. This is ridiculous. It must be 100 degrees up here. Dearly b -b -b beloved, this is ridiculous. It's freezing down here. You need a ceiling fan from the Casablanca Fan Company. Heat, that's what we need. Oh, we've got plenty of heat. You can say that again. With Casablanca's reverse airflow feature, you can recirculate warm air in winter and stay cool in summer. You mean Casablanca goes both ways? Exactly. Hey, our phone lines are now open. Well, AT&T willing, we will be getting your phone in questions in approximately two minutes. It takes just about that much time to get it through the system. However, I understand, Ed, we already have a question. I think this one's for Max, Debbie. This is definitely for Max. Uh, our uh, question comes from the attorney for the uh, big old fan company, Max. Next question, please. <laughs> All right, we have our next question now. <laughs> I honestly, I understand we honestly do have uh, uh, some question that just came in from, uh, was it Rochester? In we had a question come in from Rochester, from Adrian Rapp up there, and uh, the question was asked about how much testing has been done before the, uh, the uh, first shipment. And uh, I guess I can tell everybody out there that we've accumulated about 250,000, a quarter million testing hours on these fans so far. We've got about another 100,000 hours of testing to go before we're ready to make those first shipments. As we said earlier, we're still planning to make that shipment around the 1st of October. Should be interesting. What about uh, point of sale uh, materials? Well, we're planning a very major piece of uh, point of purchase material for you. It's going to be a, uh, a wall mount card about six feet high on solid masonite that uh, invites customers up to uh, view the IntelliTouch, to do a little testing on it, learn to work it themselves. We've also got a new uh, consumer brochure that fully describes the IntelliTouch that will be mounted in a pocket there. In fact, that, uh, that this wall control right here is the one that will mount in the uh, display unit. Pretty impressive piece, new hang tag, and the usual kind of things you'd expect from Casablanca on that. Debbie, got another question here right now from Tom Walker up in Seattle. This one I think we expected. Why don't you let, uh, let Max answer that one? Okay, I think he Max. can real well. Okay, Max. This comes once again from Tom Walker of Seattle. And uh, the question is, uh, can anybody, can somebody in Hong Kong copy this? Well, Bert and I uh, took a trip to Hong Kong, the Far East, and we delivered a couple of models. And uh, <laughs> I'm quite sure they're trying, but they might have a slight problem. Uh, it takes quite a bit of money to develop it. <laughs> <laughs> and in that same vein, we have a question from Salt Lake City, Max. You might want to talk about uh, the patent situation on the IntelliTouch. 
Oh, we have applied for patents. Uh, there are about four separate claims, and that should fully protect IntelliTouch. It will take just it will take what a uh, couple of three months to at least get uh, those patents taken care of. It'll take a while before uh, we we actually get the patent, but we applied for it. Okay, very good, Max. Boy, they seem to be asking you all the questions here. Uh, this comes from Ron Likes of Kansas City. Uh, I wonder, he, I wonder if he still drives that crummy Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to ask you a question here. He wants to know what kind of year you see for 1984. <laughs> well, a very good year, and I'm sure uh, after he makes the sales he, we expect from him, he can afford to buy a new car. <laughs> Listen to that, Ron. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a question now from Jim Nelson in Milwaukee. Am I going too fast for you here, Mark? We've got... Here we go. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Milwaukee. all righty. What kind or what type of electronics are being used in the IntelliTouch, and will they interfere with other appliances in the home? I guess I should probably answer that one if I can, Debbie. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the IntelliTouch does not use any radio transmitter of any kind, so there's no interface that will occur with any other appliance in the house. That also means there's no interference. The wall control, the W11, talks only to the fan that's connected on that line. So it's pretty straightforward. There is no interaction with any other appliance in the home. Outstanding. I've got a question here from Skip Hewlett. I'll read this. This is in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, will the IntelliTouch internal power and PC board components remain the same as is now used? The answer is no. As you'll soon see, there are several new modules used in the IntelliTouch so that uh, there's no interchangeability with the existing parts out there. It's the nature of the game when you go to a microcomputer. Max, do you want to address the subject of warranty? I got a call, uh, call in from Neil Brown in Chicago. He wants to ask what the warranty is going to be like. I think that's going to be easy to answer. Uh, a warranty will remain the same as on our existing fans. No change. That's correct. Okay. Uh, Ed, I have a question for you. It's uh, coming in from uh, Yorba Linda. Yorba Linda. <laughs> Where's, there we go. I think I'm blocking it from Los Angeles. <laughs> coming in from Ann Hart. She uh, wants to know what time you're going to be home for dinner. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> sweetie, uh, just as soon as I can. <laughs> what can I say? Haven't seen you for a while. Hope to see you real soon. We'll get him done with this project. This is going to cost me, folks. This is going to cost me. We got you. I got a call from Bill Pratt in Cincinnati. Uh, Bill Pratt is, um, is asking if the IntelliTouch is retrofitable to other fans. And the answer to that is no, not unless you're very good. Now, the motor used in, in the IntelliTouch series is the same as previously used. It has a different hole pattern for mounting components on it, but it is not retrofittable, so don't plan on having any retrofitting going on. We have a question that came in from Joanne. What's the location on this? I don't, oh, that's in Minneapolis. Oh, very good, Minneapolis. Minneapolis, okay. How will the IntelliTouch affect the fall program? It will not affect the fall program as far as the program itself is concerned, the crystal program. It will not affect it. Okay, that's a free crystal program. That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that just stays status quo? That's correct. Okay. Okay, very good. Here's a good question that uh, I think Max can answer real quickly. Uh, it has to do with the availability of the IntelliTouch. What models is going to be available, available in, Max? Well, it's going to be available uh, probably the end of September. And it'll be actually four models, two Panamas and two Zephyrs. Uh, for the time being. Uh, next year we might add a few models to it. Question for Max. I think we've actually covered this, but it bears repeating on this. Okay, good enough. But this comes from uh, Neil Brown in uh, Chicago. Chicago. There we go. Okay, Max, uh, Neil wants to know a little bit about the availability, once again, of this fan. It will be available starting late September, early October, and it will be on an allocated basis through the rest of the year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Question for me from uh, Steve Flynn down in Atlanta. Hello, Atlanta. Uh, Steve wants to know where the computer chip is located in the fan. The microcomputer used in this fan is mounted on a printed circuit board that mounts <coughs> right alongside the motor. So it's inside the fan housing. Very simple package. I think uh, when you get a chance to see inside, you'll see what we mean on that. You might add that there's only two wires now in the switch housing. Oh, that's correct. Down in the switch housing below, there's Just actually the very little very little wiring there for anybody to be concerned about. Oh, I love this question. This is uh, from Mercer Burton. Mercer <laughs> Robinson is in Jacksonville, Florida tonight. Hello, Jacksonville. And it is for Burton. The question is, what sort of reaction do we expect from other fan manufacturers? Well, what other fan manufacturers? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which ones do you have re reference to? 
Hey, Mercer, how about a hard six? <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. We've got a slew of questions yeah. there. <laughs> Keep going, Ed. We have a way of turning an otherwise legitimate affair into absolute madness. It looks like it's happened again. Got a question for Max, Debbie, and uh, I say Max because we had a lightning storm in, in the city not too long ago, and you know this firsthand. What happens to the IntelliTouch when there's a power failure? It goes off. Good answer, Max. <laughs> Good answer. Thank you, Max. <laughs> In fact, no, we... actually, uh, it, it turns off whatever pr uh, program it's on. And uh, uh, when the power comes back on, it just starts its normal routine. That's exactly right. Uh, I got another question here, Debbie. Uh, this is from Ron Likes again. Uh, can you use more than one fan on the IntelliTouch? The answer to that is no. Each wall control will work one fan. You have to have an exclusive wiring circuit between the two. That was easy. So much for Ron. <laughs> what about the uh, the maximum uh, lighting wattage? Uh, what can it handle? There's a variety of different things you can do with it. Yeah, that's probably a good question, Debbie. The uh, the IntelliTouch is stressed to handle up to 340 watts of light. Now, as we ship it out the door, it will be equipped with uh, four 40 watt high intensity bulbs, as we mentioned earlier. And by the way, the units we have on demonstration here tonight have some special light bulbs to keep from harming the TV camera. So those funny looking glows that you saw are not what you'll experience in your showroom and in your customer's <coughs> home. But there the, uh, right speaking now. of, uh, we <laughs> just had a little problem here. No problem. That was not the fan. <laughs> <laughs> but you can add, uh, you can go up to 60 watts on the side lights. You can add a center light and go all the way up to uh, 340 watts worth of light. The IntelliTouch will handle that without any trouble. Okay, in terms of uh, three-way circuits, do uh, you want to handle that as well? Yeah, I guess I might as well. I have a question from Charles Mannion oh, right okay. here, who's in Memphis tonight, along with our friends down there in the suite. That's the Hunter suite. <laughs> Special. Uh, he wants to know how much the three-way control will be. Now, that's our W12. We have a special control, the W12, that is used when there's a three-way circuit involved. The charge on that control is $15 versus what would normally be, let's say, a $12 charge for the existing wall control. And we'll be packing the W11 wall control in the top layer of the IntelliTouch series uh, gallery edition so that it can simply be removed and replaced with a three-way control when the customer uh, shows that preference. So much for that. Okay, we're all set. Well, Any additional questions coming through? My oh, they're just gracious. coming from all over the place. Aha. This is a question from Elaine in Dallas. Yay, hey, Elaine. Yay, hey, Dallas. Hey, Elaine. <laughs> Uh, how will the customers remember to operate the various instructions to run the IntelliTouch? I just got through talking to you yesterday, Elaine, and you said that's not an issue. But... <laughs> <laughs> now that you brought it up. <laughs> since you know and others may not, we have a small card that will go out with the fan shipments that should help the customer uh, by keeping a little card handy that tells him exactly how to operate it. It should take a couple of days to learn to operate it at most, and that should be that. So much for that. How are we doing on time? Are we getting close? Okay, we got time this. for another question, I think, here, Debbie. Alrighty. Uh, this is from Jim Gray in Seattle. Excuse me. Does the size of the IntelliTouch interfere with the installation in two or three gang boxes? Absolutely not. As you can see, it's the same size as a conventional, uh, reasonably shallow dimmer, so there should be no problems on installation. Yeah, I'm just grabbing these and doing wonders with them here. Max, here's an easy one for you. You'll love it. Is there any other system on the market now, or will there be in the future that even compares to this? Absolutely not. We got the best. Well, we hope so. You told me so. It <laughs> is. It is. Trust me. Uh, let's see. Can you have two different IntelliTouches in two different rooms, and will they interfere with each other? This is from Norm Likes up in Des Moines. Uh, the answer is you can have two in two different rooms. Again, this wall control will only talk to the fan on the end of the line, so there won't be any interference, no problem there. There's no house codes, no frequencies that you have to adjust, nothing like that whatsoever. And I got a question from Dave DeSteiger up in Detroit. And if the question came through right, I don't understand it. What quality will be available to the dealers? Probably I quantity, hope that means quantity. what quantity. Yeah. Max, you want to answer that one for us? Well, our policy, policy is to build as many as we get orders for it. But for a period of time, up through December, it will be, be uh, available on an allocated basis. Yeah, I think we've got time for just about one more question before we have to get the satellite back. Okay, well, All the right. last question is pretty straightforward. It's from Jim Yon down in Memphis again. 
How sensitive is the IntelliTouch system to high voltage lightning storms, etc.? Well, I don't know what the etc. is, but the lightning storms, it uh, is is pretty well protected. We don't see any problems in that area. We, in fact, do do lightning oriented testing on the product to make sure that it's good. We got to get out of here, Debbie. I think so. Max, you have some closing words on this auspicious occasion. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank all the dealers for attending, and I'm sure that. We, Casablanca, with the help of our dealers and salespeople, will have an excellent 1984. Same to you, and good night. Outstanding. Ed, you have something to say? Yes, Debbie. Debbie, thanks to you, first of all, oh. for holding us all together. <laughs> it's nice to have at least one professional around. Oh, we appreciate been, it very it's much. Been <laughs> thank you, Ed. Uh, and I obviously want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. Uh, we hope you appreciate the little bit of madness that we've shared with you tonight. But we also hope you're very excited about our our new product. We think it's really going to change your 1984. So thank you all, and to our reps, see you in Maui. Burton, where are you? Burton, where are you? I'm up here, Debbie. We've got some exciting new markets to develop. I'll see you when we get back. <laughs> see you later. And ignition and liftoff. Roger, Casablanca. You're out front and moving ahead. A big thank you to Ed Hart for placing this amazing bit of Casablanca history in my hands. I was so happy to bring this to you guys here at Vintage Fans and More. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon.